I will have to ask you to use the infinity stones that you have gathered so that you can yodel even more powerfully. Are you sure about this, Amos? I, uh, yes, I'm very sure, Thanos. Very well. I trust that you know what you're asking for. The results of my yodeling, powered by the combined might of all the infinity stones, were nothing short of cataclysmic. The sound waves were so powerful that they ripped a hole in the fabric of space-time itself, <laughs> creating a temporal vortex that swallowed up entire galaxies, solar systems, and planets in its path. It was a display of power so great that it has forever changed the very nature of the universe, and will be felt across the multiverse for eons to come. <laughs> Thanos! Thanos, my good friend Thanos! I have an idea for us to help Earth f uh, to, because of your mistakes with yodeling. Yes, Amos. I've already caused significant damage with my yodeling, so I'll do anything I can to help fix it. What's your idea? First, Thanos, you're gonna need to become president of the United States to win over uh, human relations over here in the United States. That's where I'm from become president of the United States, you say? That's certainly an intriguing idea. Do you think humans will trust and support me in that role? After all, my past actions have been rather controversial, let's say. It's not your fault, Thanos. You got a bit carried away. You don't know how powerful you are. I don't think they would hold that much against you. You didn't purposefully do it, did you? You're right, Amos. It was not my intention to cause so much damage with my yodeling. I simply got a little carried away, as you said. But surely the humans will be skeptical of a cosmic being becoming their leader. Wouldn't they want a human president instead? You could issue an apology on YouTube. Those usually do really well. If you issue a genuine apology on YouTube, start your own channel and everything, then you can reach actually the entirety of the world, across the globe even. That's an interesting idea, Amos. Humans seem to react well to apologies. Perhaps an apology video would help me sway their opinion. And starting my own channel would certainly allow me to reach as many as possible. But what should the focus of my YouTube channel be? You can start a YouTube channel discussing uh, various aspects of alpha males and sigma males. You could talk about a you, you could talk about it in a podcast even and you could uh you, you could start there interesting humans seem to be very preoccupied with masculine archetypes such as alpha and sigma males perhaps i could use this to my advantage a podcast discussing the nuances and complexities of such concepts could be quite popular yes thanos actually if you don't want to get too controversial you could do what um, these famous YouTubers from, from my world named PewDiePie and Markiplier, they started gaming channels. Uh, they're called Let's Plays. They were called Let's Plays back in the day. But you could do that too if you don't want to be too controversial. So you could have fun while doing your apology videos. Ah, I see. Gaming channels or Let's Plays, as you call them, seem like a safe and entertaining way to reach a large audience. And perhaps I could weave in apologies and explanations of my actions into my gameplay, subtly winning over viewers with my charm and wit. Yes. An apology gaming channel. What an interesting and creative idea. <laughs> yes, Thanos. Uh, just a quick question, though. What would be the kinds of games you would play on your gaming channel? What, what, what are you into? What, how would you like to entertain the people? An excellent question, Amos. In terms of games I'd like to play... Perhaps something with strategic depth and epic narrative. Something that allows me to demonstrate my intelligence and cunning while also engaging with a captivating storyline. Something like Starcraft or Civilization. As for entertainment, I could always throw in a few funny moments to lighten the mood. Humans seem to enjoy unexpected humor in unexpected places, don't they? You can play horror games as well. I think that's pretty humorous. It other than that, do, do you think you're funny enough to do this? You could win over people because of uh, our concern with human relations. Remember, you're trying to be president. Ah, horror games. A good way to show my more menacing side, yet maintain a sense of humor at the same time. And don't worry, Amos. 
I'm quite confident in my ability to entertain and win over the hearts of mankind. A bit of humor here and there, a dash of charm, some well-placed apologies, and perhaps some gaming skills to boot. Humans like a leader who can play video games, right? <laughs> yes. Humans always prefer a leader who can play video games well. You, you are absolutely right about that, Thanos. Excellent. I'll make a note of that. Be good at video games. Added to the list of requirements for a great leader. I'll practice my skills and brush up on my gaming knowledge so I can impress the humans with my epic combos and masterful strategy. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right, Thanos. B back to the situation at hand. There's, there's, a, there's a hole in the time-space fabric continuum. How are you going to become president after you administer your YouTube apologies? Ah uh, yes, the important task at hand. To mend the hole in the time-space continuum that I caused. And in order to become president, I'll have to win the trust and support of the humans. My YouTube apologies will be crucial to that, as you suggested. A genuine and heartfelt apology, coupled with some charming banter and perhaps even a hint of vulnerability, should do the trick. I'll make sure to express remorse and a sincere desire to make amends for my actions. It, and make sure when you administer these apologies, regardless of how relatable you are, make sure you mention that uh, it was due to uh, your actions. D do you remember what you did specifically that caused all of these issues? Yes, Amos, I remember precisely what I did that caused the issues. I yodel blasted with such intense power that reality itself was torn apart. The sound waves from my yodeling ripped through the fabric of space and time, leaving a hole in the continuum and causing chaos across multiple galaxies. I will make sure to explain this in my apologies and take full responsibility for my actions. Uh, good, good on you, Thanos. Well, it sounds like you have a pretty good plan on, on how to administer your YouTube apologies. Um, what's going to be step one uh, to become president after the YouTube apology? Surely you can't just apologize and then you'll become president, right? You're absolutely right, Amos. A simple apology is not enough to become president. I'll have to take several steps to further my presidential campaign. The first step would be to continue producing content on my YouTube channel. Perhaps I could create a series discussing my plans and ideas for leading the country while also responding to questions and concerns from my audience. This would help build my credibility as a serious candidate and potentially win over some voters. And, and make sure that you continue your regular content as well. You, you remember what regular content to do, right? Yes, Amos. I'll make sure to continue producing a mix of gaming, alpha male commentary and occasional humor. As I mentioned before, humans seem to enjoy a good balance of seriousness and lightheartedness in their content. I'll aim to keep my content informative and entertaining in equal measure. Good job, Thanos. Uh, how long do you need before I check in on you? You're, you're gonna have to start this channel and get to work pretty soon. You're right, Amos. The sooner I get started, the better. I'll begin work on my YouTube channel immediately. As for how long before we check in, Let's say we touch base in one month's time. That should give me enough time to get comfortable with the platform and start producing content consistently. Does that work for you? Well, it's, it's not what works for me, Thanos. It's Earth is in danger once more because of this, uh, this universal catastrophe that you've caused. But um, let, let's hope it doesn't take a month. I'll, I'll check back in with you very soon. Understood, Amos. The safety and stability of Earth are of the utmost importance. I'll do my best to expedite the process and get my channel up and running as soon as possible. In the meantime, I'll begin working on my apology video and other content. Rest assured, your planet is in good hands. Thank you, Thanos. I'll check in with you soon. Very well, Amos. I'll look forward to hearing from you soon and providing updates on my progress. Until then, take care.